I'm Gloria Maria Cappelletti. I work as a creative director of Red Eye magazine and we explore new aesthetics and uh, what is going to be the future of fashion in the sense of understanding how to use technology to enhance our creativity and give voice to young uh, creators and artists uh, that are using technology to express themselves uh, as a new canvas of possibilities. So here it's beautiful to see how you said um, how ancient techniques uh, and savoir-faire and handmade uh, is also connecting uh, new and younger generations uh, that are eager to understand how to use technology as well uh, to enhance the creativity. So it's always the idea of using technology to maybe think about how to be more sustainable, uh, how to enhance the production in a positive way, understanding how to take this uh, heritage into the future and uh, maintain what we know as a savoir-faire and handmade, but also blend it uh, with uh, new tools that are available now. And in the future, we're going to have more and more new technologies. So it's nice to be part of the zeitgeist <laughs> and um, look towards uh, the possibility to keep this um, uh, again, some warfare and culture alive in uh, upcoming years. And when did you get started in all this new technology? Um, I started actually many years ago since when the internet started and people were trying to understand what it is. <laughs> yes, I've always been fascinated by the idea of connecting people in a faster way and uh, allowing everyone to be connected on the internet. It felt immediately uh, something that can be used in a very positive way, um, such as like uh, being part of a global community. And um, since then, I've always loved uh, artists that wanted to have a dialogue with uh, the machine. This is something that has always interests me. Um, the idea of the machine as connected with our spiritual side as well. And I feel that the digital landscape is uh, surrounding ourselves. It's just like a different way to perceive what we call reality. So the digital landscape is as real as what we can touch. And um, the possibility to visualize the digital pixels, which is like an algorithm. So we're part of this movement, a constant movement that is energetic. And somehow I feel that with our brain, we have five senses, but we might be expanded with the digital tools into new perceptions that we can't see just with our bare eye and like technology is allowing us to go beyond what we normally perceive as real. And so I've always been fascinated by a dialogue, a dialogue with a technology and also thinking that digital art online is living on servers so there is like a life it's real it's here and um, now i'm very fascinated by artificial intelligence i find it can be really it's like a conversational language model so there is a conversation it means that we are part of a dialogue and we can explore um, you know, sudden feedbacks that we might not be prepared to listen to. And uh, it's stimulating um, to understand that we are in front of an intelligence that is uh, learning very fast. So we are in a dialogue and uh, we, are, we have to be humble to embrace something that at some point we might not really understand anymore. Yeah, if you listen to Elon Musk, 
and uh, other creators of AI, they seem very afraid. Yes, there is the concern. The concern, I believe, is that as uh, any other technology, we don't know who is going to be owning the most and so controlling or like trying to control. So there is a lot of ethics that are, of course, uh, into place, into discussion at the moment. But I always you know explore it from a creative point of view and so from a creative point of view I trust artists to make a good use of it um, but of course the bigger concern is uh, as everything else that is happening in the world that has been jeopardized if AI is going also to be in the wrong hands this is going to be a problem thank you <laughs>